point. Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back with Wild Castle. Do you think you have what it takes to be crowned the best player of Wild Castle? I was able to think of this a segment, the best strat challenge. And for our first contestant, shout out to Jan Galang. And his strategy is called the Arcane Creep Cleave. Okay, so from the name itself, Arcane is magic, critical damage, and AoE, the cleave one. So uh, first, I will be showing you the gears. Next is the heroes, the talents, and the defenses. Okay? And if you think you have a better strategy, then comment it on the comment section. And I will make a video and we will let the viewers decide. Okay, let's start. So for the gears. Okay, so first for the first gear is the Arcane Arrow. So magic damage, 50% AoE on critical hit for Archer. So given that, all of the other uh, gears will revolve on increasing uh, Archer critical damage and that critical rate. the heroes so according to John Galang he only used three heroes the phantom uh, the poison lancer the elite knight and Freya okay, so he, he, his explanation there is that he just wants the enemies to form in one area so that the critical arcane cleave damage will work efficiently so in the end of the video, you will see that I added some heroes to benefit his strategy and it really is up to you if you want to change some of the heroes because according to him, it doesn't matter if you have heroes or not because the strat works with or without heroes but as we all know, there are space, then let's put heroes in it. Next, we have the talents. So for the talents, uh, I think I've already maxed all of uh, the talents here, but let me just show you, you should uh, already max the arcane damage. Next is the, there, the critical damage, the critical rate, and the archer damages, yeah, hero damage, yeah, it can be archer attack speed, yeah, archer damage, I think that's it. So for the defenses, on the upper uh, four defenses, I've used all the damagers. You only have like six choices. The two, the two uh, other ta uh, defenses, towers, only produce experience and money, I guess. So I did not include them. And the, in the lower left is the arcane tower. So that's it for the defenses. I didn't add any other uh, defenses because I think... John Galang forgot to like yeah put it there so now I am showing you the first round where I use it and the flow with my video is that the archers level is too high compared to the wave like, I think the archers are already 2000 plus uh, level 2000 plus and this wave is 1598 and to show you I played a lot of rounds until I reached this 1700 without stopping. Uh, I played auto until I reached this last round <laughs> and uh, I haven't lost a round. And I think it's effective. But let's see on the higher levels. I will update you with that. I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, for all the viewers, if you have a better strat, Please do comment it on the comment section and we will let the viewers decide if this is the best strat or the next coming strats. Again, you can comment it. We, we are going to make a video out of it and we will let the viewers decide. Again, shout out to Jan Galang for this wonderful strategy. I hope 
that you enjoyed this video and learned something. Bye-bye, guys. Peace out.